Hey, Brett, true or false? There are times where you'll want to run Gen AI at the edge or locally and not on cloud infrastructure. Ah, uh, you're throwing me a softball here. I'm going to say true. When building Gen AI solutions, every situation is different, and you need to make different decisions on these layers based on where your solution fits in. Now, I've got a question for you. How do you know when you should just use an existing Gen AI application or build a custom solution? Sure, give me the hard question. There are obviously so many layers to this discussion, but to start answering that, you really need to think about what your needs and resources are. Yes, like what sort of scale is this for? Your solution will be different depending on if it's for an individual, a team, a company, or even millions of customers. Yeah, totally. And try and think about how custom your solution really needs to be. What makes it unique? Will grounding or fine tuning work? Or do you need a brand new model? Think about how, where, and when users will be interacting with the solution and how that might impact factors like latency and connectivity. And then of course, you need to think about your resources. How much time do you have? How many people do you have to work on the project? And what's your budget? These will all impact your decisions. In this lesson, we dive deeper into the types of roles needed at different layers of the Gen AI landscape. Ready to learn? Let's dive in.